Okay, next lesson. How to do, do, uh, edit or delete a prescription that you already have in your template. So you just saw me enter a prescription for Prozac. Let's see first on, let's change it from what it was before. Let me take that away. So first of all, you go and you open up, again, you always come back here, find my cursor, you always come back here to the new prescription. So open up a new prescription. So we have the new prescription opened up here. There's my name. So we're going to come over here to the template and we're going to go and find something that we want to amend. I just entered Prozac. So let's go find my Prozac and let's see about changing it. So Prozac, there we are. There's the Prozac I entered. It's going to give me a warning here. So this is a warning because Test Dummy has a lots and lots of conflicting medications. So let me get rid of that. So I've got my Prozac and I wrote down 20 milligrams, one tablet, once a day. Let's say I don't want to do 20 milligrams. Let's say let's change that to 10 milligrams. No problem. We hit 10 milligrams and we want one tab once a day. We want everything else the same. We just want a different milligram dose. No problem. And it's the way we like it. RX Tech says 10 milligrams, one tab once a day. Sounds good to me. So we can keep it like that. All we do is we do exactly the same thing we did before. We hit come over up to the top and we hit save. And we can see if we have the medications folder open. See how meds are opened up here. If you don't have that, come over here. Come down to meds. Click it. And your meds folder section opens up here. And you'll see here is the Prozac that I just saved at 10 milligrams. And I know it's saved but not signed because it's colorful and not grayed out. So now it's saved exactly how we've written it here. I can now save this into my template and if I wanted it to replace the Prozac 20 milligrams well then I'd have to type it in Prozac 20 milligrams exactly as written but I want to write instead Prozac 10 milligrams I like to capitalize that excuse me E-R-O Prozac. And again, remember, this is the box that comes open. It says, script, prompt, enter, prescription, template, name. You do it exactly like you did, it, did before, where you're going to select, basically, this little blue box by the template. So once you get it how you like it, you saved it. You click this little box. This box opens up, script, prompt, enter new prescription template name. I'm going to call it Prozac, 10 milligrams. Oops, excuse me, 10 milligrams. And then come over here and hit OK. And then I know it's in the template now because I can see it. It's put on the bottom. And then when I sign in a new one, it'll be ordered in the order that's alphabetical. And that's how you make an edit. Let's now do a deletion. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete an old prescription. So how would I delete an old prescription? Well, we go ahead and we, we basically start always from the same spot, come over and get a new Rx tab. Oops, didn't work. Let me come over here again. There we go. So a new Rx tab opens up. Here's the new Rx tab. I want to delete one of my old medications. I have on here, I believe, just regular Prozac. I'm going to get rid of it. Since I have a 10 milligram and a 20 milligram, I just want to get rid of this one. So first I click on it. And then it takes a few seconds it comes up yes I know it sells me a warning patient has already have a prescription for this it's not expired now it's gonna give me a warning there's an interaction yes let me get rid of that so but here's my prescription 
10 milligrams. I have a weird one, BID. I don't know what the heck this is. But anyways, uh, Prozac, I don't like this. I want this one gone. I want to get rid of it from my template forever. Well, real easy. All I have to do is I find my template. This is the Prozac name. This is the one that I want to get rid of. This, this is the exact one. You can see the text here. It makes no sense. I don't like how it's written. I want it completely out of my template. So instead of saving it, I'm going to come over here to the X and you say remove current template. I just click on it. And it's gone. So now I'll prove that it's gone by coming back to my template and I'll look for it. See if I can find it. Prozac. Remember I have Prozac 10, I have Prozac uh, 20. Let's see, I've got Prozac 10, I've got Prozac 20, but Prozac is gone. So I've successfully edited my Prozac, and I've successfully deleted my old prescription of Prozac that I didn't like. And that's how you do it. Thank you very much.